50 years of hosting the telethon, the West Texas Rehab Center is getting ready to do it again this year. It's a chance to raise funds to help patients here locally, whether they can pay or not. Here's one of their stories. Smile when your heart is aching. That's what most people see in him is his big old smile. Probably the hardest times we've had with him have been times when his smile has gone away. They say a smile is worth a thousand words. But for this little boy, a smile is worth every word. And then they do that MRI and, and, and come back and tell us that he has a mitochondrial disease and his, you know, he has a, a terminal diagnosis in that um, we don't know how long we're going to have him and we don't know what his life will look like. And I don't know that there's been a worse day in our life. That was the day Jackie Thweet and her husband Josh found out their son Miller was born with Lee's syndrome, a severe neurological disorder with no cure. With Lay's syndrome, they actually, uh, the disease attacks the mitochondria, which is your energy cell, which is your life cell. And whenever that is attacked, then of course, um, then um, it's, it's not a real positive outcome. So a lot of the kids who have Lay's, they don't survive very long. It was just rock bottom, knowing that we've prayed for this child for years and then he gets here and he's going to have a hard road and it's going to be a short one. Where do you turn? What do you do? Who can you trust? The West Texas Rehabilitation Center became a beacon of hope for the Thweet family. And we've been at West Texas Rehab for a while now and they've been working with him on ways to communicate nonverbally so that we can find what's going on with him, what, what makes him happy, what makes him sad, what he needs or what he wants. Um, other than his expressions, because those are those are what we go off of now. A lot of kids with his diagnosis, when they lose their smile, it never comes back. Two or three times in his life, he has gone through periods of time, a month or more, where he's not smiled, not laughed, not given us much emotion at all. Um, and that was really difficult for a kid who's usually so happy. And as a parent, that's hard because you don't know what they're feeling. And I think as a mom, you get a lot of or I get a lot of, um, of joy and reassurance out of his joy and his smiles. Well, you can bet when he's at the West Texas Rehab, his smile is front and center. You know, Miller is three years old now, and he has done nothing but amazing uh, progress. When you see Miller and you see that smile and that determination and those baby blue eyes and that grin, um, I guarantee you, you can say nothing more than that young man is a fighter and a believer. And he has everything he needs to stay in that fight because of the amazing therapist and resources at the rehab. And that's one of the things that is so different about any other place in town or any other place in the state of Texas is he can get his hearing checked here through audiology. He gets his braces um, through uh, our orthotics and prosthetics program. He gets physical therapy, speech therapy, and occupational therapy. So he's had um, uh, therapy to help him swallow, eat different foods. He's had uh, therapy to help him talk. It's just kind of all in one and it's such a beautiful thing because we don't have to go to 14 places to get the care that he needs with the attention and the um, kind of all-encompassing care. And I can't imagine what the, what difference that makes in Miller's life. I mean, I, I see it every day. The fact that he's seeing these therapists, they have eyes on him, they're watching his every move, making sure everything is tailored to what he needs four days a week. And even though healing Miller's body is the focus, healing a broken heart is just as important to West Texas Rehab. They hugged us when there were days we just couldn't keep it together. Um, they celebrate every joy and every victory that he's had. Um, they check on him when he's been in the hospital. They know us by name. They know our son and they love us. And that is probably more than we could have ever asked for. It's very personal because it is our family, but it's also personal when we come here and trust our son with these people that have become family. This is your chance to be part of that family. Your donations and generosity have provided equipment and therapy that so many kids, just like Miller, couldn't have afforded otherwise. Your kindness has paid for crucial treatments that insurance would not.
Braid Blanks reporting. Thank you, Braid. And